Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Tamar and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create good thumbnails for your YouTube videos. So if you have been following me for a while and seen my other videos, my other three videos, I always tell you that you need good thumbnails for your videos in order for them to get more views. And in this video, I'm actually gonna be showing you guys how to create those thumbnails for free without any additional software. So as you can see here, I'm on this website called PixelR and it's basically something like Photoshop as you can see here. Um, this is a software that you can create uh, images with, uh, including thumbnails, and it's all on the web, so you don't have to download anything. All you have to do is go to this link, which will be in the description below, and once you're in here, you can just go ahead and follow the tutorial. So make sure to visit this website, and once you're here, you want to click on Playful X. So do not click on Advanced, click on Playful, and once you have clicked on that, you will get taken to this page. Now I already have one here called Untitled, I will actually remove that, but what you want to do is click on Create New. So as you can see it says History, Create New and Stock Search. Uh, history will just show you your previous um, uh, projects, like you could see my, my project called Untitled. Uh, but you want to click on Create New, and in here you will see a few options. So these are the, the, the dimensions for your image. So the dimensions are basically just the pixels, uh, the, the amount of pixels that are in the image. So uh, YouTube thumbnails actually use 1280 by 720. So you don't want to choose anything else. You just want to choose this since this is what will work best on YouTube and it will look the best. So once you've chosen that, you want to click on create and then you have created a new project. So as you can see here, this is completely empty and that's because we haven't added anything onto it yet, but that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. So the first thing I always do uh, when I create a thumbnail is, or actually I remind you guys that creating a thumbnail is very objective. You can do it however you want to, but in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I create my thumbnails. And if you think my thumbnails look good, then you should be following this, this tutorial. And if you don't, then I'm sorry guys. But yeah, this is basically just going to be showing you guys the, um, the basics of uh, thumbnail making on YouTube. So it will good, look good, but it might not fit everyone. But enough of that, let's get started into the thumbnail making. So once you're in here, you want to click on this button down here called Add Image. So what we're going to be doing is adding the, the background. So as you can see here, it says Stock in URL and Browse. Stock is basically just uh, so you can search on whatever you want to add, uh, add as an image. Uh, and it's all, it's all free, you can add whatever image you can find in here. So if I search for, let's say, Fortnite, then Fortnite images will pop up and I can use this uh, completely free, you don't have to pay for anything. But if you don't, if you don't see uh, a photo here that you want to use or that looks good to you, then you can go back and then you can click on either URL or browse. So URL will basically import any image that you paste in here. So you want to copy the link URL of that image, paste it in here and click on load and that will load on the image. But actually I have an image already downloaded on my PC, so I'm going to click on browse. This will basically bring up a window where you can choose whatever images you want to import. I'm going to choose a blue background that I downloaded before making this video. And if I click on open, you will see it says open image and there are two options here. Creating a new will basically create a new project or a new document, uh, which you don't want to do since you want to import it to this uh, project or document right here. So what you want to be clicking on is add current. And once you click on that, you will see that the image gets imported right into the document. So as you can see here, it also scales up to the perfect dimensions. So you don't have to, you know, scale this. If if you you don't really need to scale this, but you can. But I'll just leave it like that since this this is perfect. But once you have imported the background, you want to add some filters to it. So you want to click on filter and once you have opened this window you'll see a lot of different things you can do here so these are the details of the image and these are the scenes uh, you can basically you know drag this around to whatever you want but what i usually do is that i leave everything as it is and i go up and then i select this blur drag slider and i always drag it to around 20 or 25. As you can see what this does is that it, it blurs out the background which is exactly what I want since I want the background to be blurred so that the, the other images and text that I have on top of it will be able to be seen a lot more. So I usually drag this to around 26 or 30, you know it's all personal preference but this looks perfect to me so I'm just gonna keep it as it is. 
and once I have apl applied this filter I always close the window and then I go on to the text so as you can see here there's a button called text and if you click on that you'll see this panel and you want to click on add new text since this will add a new text to um, your document so I'm actually gonna choose a different font just to uh, show you guys so the default will be Arial and this looks quite generic doesn't really look good doesn't really look like a thumbnail so I I would definitely change this but before I do that I want to add a text so for this video I'm just gonna type YouTube thumbnail you know this can say whatever you want but this is a tutorial so I'm just gonna type YouTube thumbnail and once you have your text you can click on font which is basically the style of the text so if you click on font you can select whatever font you want here and uh, there's a lot of different fonts as you can see um, so you just want to go through every single font here and find one that looks good to you and a font that I found that looks really good for, for thumbnails is called daddy day as you can see here this is quite thick and you know looks like a thumbnail you'd see on YouTube so I'm gonna choose that but as you can see here it's quite small doesn't really look uh, that big if it's if it was a thumbnail so what you want to do is scale this up so how do you do that well you go down here to the same text panel and if you look down it says size so whatever this is actually uh, the scaling of the uh, the text so if you drag this slider to the right it will enlarge and to the left it will you know get smaller so obviously we want to make this bigger so we're going to drag this to around maybe 150 maybe a little less 152 this looks good to my eye and as you can see here this is a lot bigger than the default one now this still doesn't look really that good but we can still fix that since a lot of different thumbnails on YouTube they always have a stroke around their text on their thumbnails so we can actually add that in pixel R and how we do that is that we go down and you will see something says saying outline if you click on enable you'll see that a gray outline gets enabled on the text obviously we don't want a gray, uh, gray outline we want a black one since that looks the best um, so you want to click on this the button here with the three dots and then you want to take this um, circle and drag it all the way to the left or to the right so as you can see here now the stroke became uh, black uh, it already looks a lot better since now you can see the text uh, from the background a lot easier so you want to uh, you want to add a stroke to your text and uh, once you have done that uh, you're basically good to go with the text so I'm gonna click on close and one thing I noticed was that the filter the blur didn't really uh, stick so I'm gonna go back and select the layer and then I'm gonna add the blur again to what was it 26 there we go so you actually have to click on apply for it to save so now we have the text and the background with the blur now the last thing I usually add is an image so another image that is not blurred and that is not the background so uh, you want to click on the same button again down here to the left it says add image and once you're in here you see these three options that we saw before and as, can, as I said you can use whatever option you want to but before making this video I downloaded a Fortnite character that I thought about adding to this thumbnail for this video so what I'm gonna be doing is selecting browse and then I'm gonna select the Fortnite character and then I'm gonna click open and you'll see the same window again here saying do you want to add the image as a layer in the current document or create a new so obviously you want to click click on add current and as soon as you click on that button you will see that the image gets right important to the pixel R so obviously this is way too big and what we can do with that is that you can see this little dot up here on either uh, corner of this image you can drag this um, to the left to make it smaller to the right to make it bigger we want to make this smaller so I'm gonna drag it to around this size something like this and then obviously I want to center it since that looks a lot better than having it on the corner I'd say this is around the center and once I have done everything I want with the image I'm gonna click on you know click outside the image and you will see that it gets saved so that's basically my three elements that I usually use in my thumbnails and um, once I have created a thumbnail I always click on save and then this will uh, give you you know send you to this page it's basically save image it's it's uh, a few options that you can use to save your image um, as you want so as you can see here this is file name I'm gonna name it thumbnail since that's what I'm gonna be using it for 
and then the file type you can use whatever you want here except for pxd uh, i usually go with png since that's higher quality and as you can see here you can see the kilobytes of the thumbnail once you have done that you can see the image width which is which is 1280 by 720 if it's not please ch uh, change it to these dimensions since that's what i said that, that's what youtube is using so once you've done everything here you want to click on download and it will download right onto your pc now if i click on the downloaded file i'll see let's see it's on my other screen i'll see my image right here now this image can be applied to whatever video i want the thumbnail to be for and that's basically how you create thumbnails for your videos so you can uh, obviously use whatever software you want i usually use uh, photoshop but pixelar is a great free alternative that you can use to, on the web without downloading anything so i truly recommend you using that and that's basically the end for this video. If this video helped you, please leave a like down below and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.